Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Kim and in today's video we are going to learn how to say I like in Finnish. So when we want to express that we like something, we can choose between two verbs. One is tuketa, which means to like, and the second one is pita, which also means to like. From both of them, tuketa is the more common one, while pita is the one that gives a slight formal touch to the sentence. Our video today is split into seven chapters. First, we are going to learn how to say that we like something that is a noun, plus also how to negate it. Then in the second and third chapter, we will also learn how to form questions, like for example, do you like, what do you like, and who do you like? In chapter 4, we are going to learn how to form sentences where we express that we like something, including adjectives, plus also how to negate it. Later on in chapter 5, we will also carry on with how to say that we like something, including verbs. Plus, in the same chapter, we will also learn about the important difference between dukata and pita. In chapter 6, we have some exercises plus solutions. And in chapter 7, we'll go through some extra material, which means we are going to learn how to conjugate tukata and pitta. So let's start right away. When we want to say that we like something that is a noun, the structure is tukata or pitta plus a latif. For example, mina tukkan talvesta means I like winter. But we can also say Mina pidan talvesta, which also means I like winter. So the meaning of both sentences is the same. Talvesta is the elative case of the noun talvi, which means winter. So let's repeat. Mina tukkan talvesta or Mina pidan talvesta. I like winter. Now let's learn how to say that we don't like something. Mina en tukka kahvesta means I don't like coffee. Or we can also say Mina en pida kahvesta, which also means I don't like coffee. So kahvesta is the elative case of the noun kahvi, which means coffee. Let's repeat Mina en tukka kahvesta or Mina en pida kahvesta. I don't like coffee. Now, how do we ask do you like something? Here is one example. Pidat sino omanoista means do you like apples? Or we can also ask do gat go sino omanoista, which also means do you like apples? Omanoista is the elative case in plural of the noun omana, which means apple. Let's repeat Pidat go sino omanoista or do gat go sino omanoista. Do you like apples? When we want to ask what do you like, we can ask Mr. Sina Dukat. And then we can, for example, answer Mina Dukan Flamingoister means I like flamingos. So Flamingoister is the elative case plural of the noun flamingo, meaning in English flamingo. So let's repeat Mr. Sina Dukat. Mina Dukan Flamingoister. What do you like? I like flamingos. Now, when we want to know who do you like, we can ask Genesta sina tukkaat? Here we can, for example, answer Mina tukkaan sinusta, meaning I like you. Genesta is the elative case of kuka, which means who, and sinusta is the elative case of the personal pronoun sina, which means you. So, let's repeat. Genesta sina tukkaat. Mina tukkaan sinusta. Who do you like? I like you. Now let's learn how we can say that we like something, including adjectives. Here is one example. Mina tukkaan saksalaisesta leivasta. Means I like German bread. Leivasta is the elative case of leipa, which means bread. Here we have a consonant gradation, P changes to V. And Saxalaisesta is the elative case of the adjective Saxalainen, which means German. So here the noun stands in the elative case, but also the adjective that belongs to the noun. So let's repeat. Mina dukkan Saxalaisesta leivasta. 
I like German bread. Let's move on. The same structure again, but now we want to negate it. And dukka desta udesta elokuvasta. I don't like this new movie. So let's go step by step. Elokuvasta is the elative case of elokuva, which means movie. Then we have udesta, which is the elative case of uusi, which means new. And it refers to the movie, since we're talking about a new movie. And desta is the elative case of dema, which means this, also referring to the movie. So that is why we have to put all three of them into the elative case, which is why we say Entukka desta udesta elokuvasta. I don't like this new movie. Alright, now let's learn how to say that we like something that is a verb. This is, by the way, the chapter where we are also going to see the difference between dukata and bitta. So let's start with dukata. Dukkan dansia means I like to dance. Here we have the dukata verb in the first person singular and then we have dansia, which is an infinitive verb meaning to dance. So here we gotta have to remember the structure dukata plus infinitive verb. But we can, of course, also say Dukkan Tansimisesta. This is the alternative version, but I'd rather recommend to use the Dukata plus infinitive verb structure because it's much easier to remember it. Instead of Dukata, we can also use Bita. Here the verb gets the Misesta or Misesta ending. Let's take a look at our example. Bidan Tansimisesta means I like dancing. So, tansimisesta is the relative case of the nonalized verb tansiminan. By the way, if you're unsure what a nonalized verb is or how we can use it in a sentence, I made a full video about this topic. You're very welcome to watch it afterwards. Alright, so let's repeat our two examples. We can either say dukkan tansia or bidan tansimisesta. Now, let's take a look at some more examples. Dukkan laula means I like to sing. Here we have the dukata plus infinitive verb structure. Next one, mina bidan laula misesta means I like singing. Here we have the bida plus the nonalized verb in elative structure. So laula misesta is the elative case of the nonalized verb laula minan. One more example. Hen bitta auringon ottamisesta means he or she likes sunbathing. Ottamisesta is the elative case of the nonalized verb ottaminan and auringon is the genitive case of the noun aurinko, which means sun. Let's repeat. Hen bitta auringon ottamisesta. He or she likes sunbathing. All right. Now it's time for some exercises. Fill in the blanks. We have five seconds to answer. How do you say, I like coffee? That's right. It's Mina Dukkan Kachvista. I like coffee. Next one. How do you say, Aki doesn't like beer? That's right. Aki e bida oluesta. Or we can also say Aki e dukka oluesta. Aki doesn't like beer. By the way, oluesta is the relative case of the noun olut, which means beer. Next one. How do you ask? Do you like singing? That's right. Bidetko sina laulamisesta. Laulamisesta is the elative case of the nonalized verb laulaminan. Next one. How do you ask, do you like apples? That's right. Bidetko sina omanoista. Do you like apples? Next one. How do you ask, who do you like? That's right. Genesta sina dukkat. Who do you like? One more. How do you say, Mia likes that beautiful cat? Here you have to fill in three words. You can see all of them down below and all you have to do is to just put them into the elative case. That's right. Mia bitta 
Du osta kaunista kisasta means Mia likes that beautiful cat. So let's go step by step. Du osta is the elative case of duo, which means that in the sense of that over there. Then we have kaunista, which is the elative case of kaunis, which means beautiful. And then we have kisasta, which is the elative case of kissa, meaning cat. So let's repeat. Mia pitta tuosta kaunista kisasta. Mia likes that beautiful cat. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's move on to our extra material. Now we are going to conjugate the verb dukata. I will go quickly through it. If it's too fast, you can always pause the video. So how do we say I like, you like, he or she likes? Mina dukan. Sina dukat. Han dukka. Me dukama. Te dukata. He dukavat. And now we want to negate it. So we want to say I don't like it, you don't like it, and so on. Which is Mina en dukka. Sina et dukka. Han e dukka. Me eme dukka. Te et dukka. And he eivat dukka. So that was it for Tukata, and now let's see how it works with Pitta. Mina pidan, sina pidat, hän pitta, me pidamme, te pidatta, and he pitavat. And the negation, mina en pida, sina et pida, hän ei pida, me emme pida, te ette pida, and he eivät pida. So yeah, that's it for today. So we learned today about the difference between dukata and pitta plus examples and how to conjugate them. I hope you liked this video. If you want to learn more Finnish, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day and see you next time.